Okay, hey kitties, today we are going to do a two dimensional array. We'll go to new project, open up a Windows application form, oh, let's name it to, we'll say two array two D I M E. up we got our form here and we'll just get a text box so we can see the array just double click that and then click the little arrow button at the top so we can have a multi-line okay never mind so you can just open it up and say okay we got the text box click that and we will change this so because we have to have it load so we'll do text box load one. Load there. And handles my base load. Okay. So we got that part set up and then we will initialize the array. Ray one as integer. We're going to be putting some integers in here. Okay, let's put some numbers in here. And the spacing doesn't exactly matter, so and we'll initialize the second array. Yep. You have to spell it right. Array two. And we'll reference the array one. And get the upper bound. that to zero as integer okay, and then we'll put our for loop in so we can count uh, count all the way up to however many there are in the array so for i equals initialize it to zero Array two, and then a variable in for array two equals two plus two times the variable. Okay, and then that automatically generates the next end for the for loop. And then we'll put in array two. Initialize it to I. Uh oh. I'm supposed to do get upper bound here. Okay, we finally got this for loop straight. We gotta get the upper bound and then we gotta calculate it. Okay, and then we gotta do the output. So let's see. Text box one. Uh, okay. End 
index one. And we're going to do a tab, so VB, TAB. there and actually that's just the index of the array and we want to do a new line so we'll do B C R L F Sand. <clears throat> okay, so we had to put the the text box name in there, then we had to put the array, and then I'm not getting the ampersand right. Okay, so there we go, and not another ampersand. <clears throat> okay, so we finally got that right. So then we put another for loop to to increment the actual numbers of the array. tab. Display the array. There we go. Index, array 1, array 2. You can see it has all the numbers in there. Now, an off by one error was it would be to, that if you initialize this to 1, and you ran it, then it would only show 5 of the, uh, 5 positions in the array, not the 0th zero, zero th part of the array. Make sure you initialize that to zero. And you have to make sure you get the array one, array two, upper bound. You have to increment it, uh, increment the array. This is a two by two array. And then you have to uh, append the variables so you can run it. And that is an array and that's how, that's how it's done. make this box a lot smaller because the array is not that big. Resize that and run it again. And there you go, it's more of the right size. Anyways, hope you had fun and wait till the next tutorial. <laughs>